to be a show down. I like that right there. Handshake, nothing but love and respect. That's a grown man, bro. That is right there. I mean, I'm telling you, when it's not online, okay, science is very nice. <laughs> I'll tell you, catch, catch your L online, though. I had to mute that stream, brother. <laughs> mute that stream. <laughs> and uh, Your discretion and, advised. And if you play that character, just know you may be able to get some solid practice. He's going to tweet about he, it. He's going to tweet about you. All right. Here we are. It looks Ooh. like it's going to be the ages coming out in our first game. Mithra on the screen said, I might want to match his speed for speed here. I like I like the idea. I like this idea as well. You know, we saw Spargo actually pull out the ages to great effect against Ken earlier on in this bracket and got this and secured the W in that fashion. So definitely thinking, okay, this is probably going to be my best go-to right here. As you mentioned, TK, the speed of age is going to be crucial to getting this W. Yeah, now, you know, honestly, no one's ever going to have that dash speed that uh, or that run speed that Sonic has, but at least uh, being close to it, yeah. you know, it's going to help a little fat, uh, a little better than, you know, being, uh, being on the other side. Let's put it that way. Not having too much lag on your moves, too. Also a big component as well. The spring interrupting a little bit, but not going to put Spargo in any kind of danger. Here we go, dash attack. Finding the smart right there. Goes, tried to drop zone. Okay. Get that fair. However, here we go. Pyra out right now. Going for the spikes. Yeah, let me keep, spike, keep this out until there's a little bit of uh, space created. Because like, we, we are at that point now where yeah, trying to get some meteor hits would be nice. Yeah. But we also at that point now where I don't think that meteor hit, unless it's like an S-Smash, is really going to take that stock. So could swap back to uh, the Mithra. Try to still match the speed for speed here. That's it's true. like he's going to keep this pyro though. He's really feeling it. I like that. I mean, I, I, it's kind of like thinking like, okay, like if I can apply enough pressure, make them scared, right? Mm -hmm. And that's got to be the mindset for sure. And Spargo, of course, pilots both of those characters at an exceptionally high level. So switching between the two, not really losing too much. Oh, mm. he's going to lose that stock because that nair back there never fails to find its mark. But you already know, Prominence Revolt off of the down air. Oh, we got those two. Here we go. That's my jam, bro. I like seeing anything off the down air, but the down air prominence revolt always looks super, uh, you know, super spicy right there. Here we go. No real, uh, you know, no, no real advantage being shown here Not just yet. Sonic, Spargo, right down the middle, about 3% between them. Unfortunately, for, uh, Sonic's just chilling at the edge. He was like, bro, what is bro, bro doing up there? Yeah, real talk, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> they doing up there, yo. <laughs> oh, man. A lot of questions right now. And here comes the Pyra again, and yeah, so odd to see him just pull out the Pyra at such early percents, man. But I'll tell you what, he's formulated in theorycraft this matchup a lot. He's also played it in practice. He knows a lot more about what's going on here than we do. So we can just marvel in awe at the decision. Switching between the two right now brings back the Mithra. All the pressure on the side of Spargito right now. Looking clean. I'm loving the switches right now, TK, and I'm loving the pressure. Mm -hmm. Okay. A little dash tech. You kind of... Uh He's trying to keep that pressure up on to Spargo right now. Here's some Let's Go Spargo's in the chat. Oh, yeah. And I say that, I say the chat, I'm talking about the people here. Man, everybody in chat to me. <laughs> Low key, bro. Everybody's chatting. Something to say. You got something to say. All right, here we go. And he's saying I'm getting back to the stage. Yes, okay. I like that. Rolls right back to center stage. Very smart. The correct decision being made by Spargo. But Sonic's so wily, so smart. And I like oh. that right there. Recognizing the jabs would not connect there. Let's go for a grab, reset the situation, oh. and continue the onslaught. Oh. All right, like that. Uh, aggressive coming down right there from Spargo. Potentially could have got himself a down air. Could have led into maybe an up air to get that stock uh, as well. As Sonic was getting a little aggressive off that uh, stage. Okay, speaking of aggressive, aggressive off that uh, platform, off the ledge as Ooh. well with that neutral air. Still trying to find this this second stock though. Spargo continuously putting Sonic in that same spot where it's just like if I guess correctly, it should be over. Oh, okay, he didn't land on the on the ground uh, stage though. That could have been it. All right, Spargo choosing a lot of aggressive options with his landing patterns. Can't say I blame him. Mm. Good catch on the back air though. Sonic's knowing exactly where Spargo would be. And here we go, an opportunity to extend this lead. Oh my goodness, and okay. extend it we will. Good catch. Yeah, it is like 62 just like that. Spargo, all this unanswered damage. Okay, so the double swap. Doesn't really matter, though, and he has yeah. to air dodge through back to the stage. What a dominant stock. Bro didn't even get hit. He did not, bro. Did not get hit, but surely threw him out there. Finding his mark on what was a very, very even match to start with. Certainly did not end that way. One-sided victory for Sonics in game number one. And TK, as you look, uh, take a look at these replays, man. What a difference a year makes for both of these players, both noticeably absent from last year's Supernova Top 8. 
hell, the way they played, man, they were no, they were absent from the top 16, okay? I think Sonics got 25th and Spargo got like 49th, but they have absolutely corrected that deficit, brought it all the way back here to be your grand finalist, and Sonics kicking things off the right way. I think that sometimes that's just the motivator you need, bro. Like, yeah. I came here, I did not, I underperformed immensely in the last time I showed up uh, in this specific venue. Yeah. Different tournament name, same yeah. venue, though. And now here, Supernova says, if we're going to start fresh, I'm going to start at the top. Well, that's what it is. So Sonic Spargo, game one, going in the way of Sonics. And I mean, I got to say it, Phil, I'm sorry, he got cooked. He got he, he, he absolutely, <laughs> he absolutely <laughs> took Spargo on that last stop. He bro. did. But like, there's nothing else I can say. He did. But that's the thing about being cooked, man. Sometimes it just, it just motivates you to respond even harder. So I got to imagine that's going to be the case for Spargo. I mean, played them super even. There were a couple points. What? What? Oh, whoa. Hey, yo. Whoa. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hold on, bro. bro. What? The Roy? I'm not going to doubt it. I'm not going to. Oh. Why y'all get loud this late? Like, he already locked in. They was like, is this real? <laughs> I had to wait for the game to start. Spargo said, you know what, man? I'm going to go through the whole roster of sorties. But little known fact about Sonics, he actually secondaries Roy himself. So any maybe like the tricks of the trade that Spargo's looking to maybe take advantage of, I don't know if they're necessarily going to work on Sonics, who is quite familiar with this character as well. But let's find out. I'm eager to see how this game two goes. Spargo really bringing out all the stops. Yeah, I just really, I really, I mean, I haven't really been watching too much of the online uh, circuits, so I can't say that my man, you know, this is something that is unpractical. He has been using a lot. However, it is definitely unfamiliar to me, but it's not yeah. looking bad shabby. That's I will say that. It's not looking shabby at all. Not at all, man. I mean, he's got the movement down right now. Got to bring out all the stops in grand finals. And the thing for Spargo is too, man, I mentioned the fact that, yes, I feel like between these two, just given their history, their past, everything we know about them, winner's side of Grand Finals is not a true advantage with these two. But it does give Spargo a little bit of wiggle room to figure out what character he might want to rely on as his absolute go-to. And right now, TK, the Roy, damn sure looking like his boy. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm telling you, bro. That, that's his partner in them. That's what I'm saying right now. The way that this Roy got his back. What is going on? This is not the way I was expecting this match to shake up at the very beginning when I saw the Roy pick. But the Roy looks clean. I mean, it looks clean. He's got the first stock. He's got some good damage here on the second stock. Wow. He's threatening a, a, a second stock right now, to be honest. A lot of control on the part of Spargo whipping out this Roy. Can honestly say I've never seen him play this character at a tournament with this high of stakes. But when you are just so fundamentally sound and so confident you can make performances like this the up b mm, not gonna make it, it yeah put it back a little bit try to avoid the spring in the edge guard but not gonna have the juice to get there but still 84 percent percent advantage i like to say this you know this is a very big uh percent advantage for him but we he had this type of percent advantage on that last stock in the first game yeah. and then he never got a hit he actually just got put in the, in the blender very right true. there from sonics this time around though he is getting some hits so it seems like he's avoiding the blender for sure now can he fight oh wait a minute okay Try to get that back air. Uh, doesn't matter. If that was a frame trap. Even if without the back air, I still get the neutral air to pop you back up. What? However, he's like, you know, I had enough of this. I had enough. Hold this up tilt. Yeah, bro said, you know what? Let me just put the perfect get up off me option. The up tilt was the answer. Fresh and right on the mark. 116 after the hit, though. Here comes Sonics. Oh, he still had his jump, though. That's not going to be enough. And here we go. The up air oh. creating such oh. a huge opening for Spargo. Not going to be enough off that one. Still, next back here. Definitely if he gets that sweet spot. Oh, oh. no, but he waited too long. Yep. And uh, he just loses his stock for it, too. Oh, oh man. Look, game not over till it's over, bro. I understand what the percentages are saying right now. Yeah. But this is definitely shades of last game, too. All right, Spargo. Really, if he just wants to win this, TK, the secret is easy. Stay on the stage and keep Sonics the hell off. Spargo with the surprise of the tournament, taking game number two with Roy. Kept that one deep in the pocket, bro. I mean, damn, man, you was right when you said Roy really is his boy. I know they got mash and shysties in the building. <laughs> said, said, yeah. said, I'm putting it on, bro. I'm, ro I'm robbing this whole ass game. It's murking season for Come sure on right now, now bro. Blue, blue, blue. <laughs> Y'all playing with the wrong one now. Hey. 
I this look, I, I honestly at this point in time I just believe that the character got a sword, yeah. I'm gonna know how to play it. Oh you right. Can't, I can't be mad. Bro. Oh you right. I can't be mad. Let me see that Sephiroth next. Nah, I'm playing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. I'm like, you know what? I'm feeling a little Mennonite right now. Just like <laughs> bringing out the greatest hits. <laughs> oh, man. And sticking with the Roy for game number three. Let's we'll see if it can be as effective and as potent. Man, that was such a treat to watch. But here we go. Game number three. Sonics tends to not be phased by any kind of shenanigans. And he has proven that with a hellacious opening. 80% unanswered, make it 89, and maybe even a stock. Oh, if that connected, oh. that would have oh. been insane. But this aerial pressure. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute, we back to back with it. I'm going to get all my damage back. Good Lord, Spargo. He said, what lead, bro? I'm coming for you. All right, still about, about 30th percent uh, between them. Going to start to rack up just a little more, but Sonics, you know, I'm sure he was like, damn, off the ledge, bro? Like, yeah. <laughs> like that? <laughs> all right, trying to get those jabs to connect. Sonic's not letting it happen. Which they're sending pretty high up right now. Miss grab, but nobody home. Uh, nobody to get that punish, unfortunately, for uh, Spargo. Sonic's though. Just looking for maybe, trying to maybe line himself a back air or a uh, spin dash confirmed to definitely take the stock right now. There's a lot that can go right for Roy at this percentage, mm -hmm. right? A lot of rage right there, and already just such base knockback on a lot of those moves. Spargo finds himself in the right spot. This could be disastrous for Sonics, and he knows it. Playing with an air of caution, despite the lead, not going to get all of that side B. But nonetheless, ooh, what are we looking for? All right, trying to catch the jump. Not giving it up, though. Ooh. Oh, man, he is so winging. See, my boy is definitely the dash dancing, kind of working out, starting to catch some rolls out here. Oh, damn. Okay. Perry drop neutral air right there. That's going to drop neutral air. It's going to be enough to get uh, Spargo off of that stock. But got the 123, so he's definitely going to be threatening the stock. A jab uh, back air. Do it. Hey, any, any smash could definitely do it. Yeah, he's looking a lot for that jab back air. Let me try and find the right distance on you. That double edge blade. Oh, oh man. Okay. Okay. Nice. Jukes. It was crazy. Sonic's always been talking about. Oh, okay. Jab up air. Instead, it's going to be the Sonic's always been talking about something. I know I shouldn't be trying to use this home and attack off yeah. the stage. And he still be doing it, bro. But but watch you do it again. Yeah, like Moth to a flame, bro. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. He is comedy man, but I'll tell you what. He's only doing it because he's believed. Oh my goodness! Wow. Lightning fast removal of that stock from Sonics, and he has a whole stock lead in this game number three. Oh. All right, Spargo. What's going to be the response? No Roy can put on that damage. Spargo being an absolute tactician, but he's got a lot of work to do to bring this one back. Okay, he's, he's starting that work right now. That's an extra 20 he was able to add on. Oh, actually gave him a little too much uh, space for Sonics, and yeah, you can yep. see what Sonics does. Just a sliver of space, and he was able to turn that into now 59 damage. All right, starting to see a little bit of the strain on Spargo's face. As this game is definitely getting away from him. Connect one of those down airs and pop them up. That could be huge, but not quite hitting. Mm -hmm. Hey, going to be off the mark right there on that back air, so he does take a, a little bit of damage. But, yeah, Spargo, even though he is a stock behind, he has not taken a, a threatening amount of damage yet, although that is starting to change. Correct. Okay, back throw. All right. All right. Not getting all that back there. But still keeping the pressure on. I like it. That should be enough, and it absolutely will. 82% separating them right now. Oh, but Sonic just immediately drops down and gets a tremendous uh Oh, hit. there's no jump. And that's a bad position to be in. That is there's a no jump. Dead Roy. Oh, oh, what? Oh, well, I, 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 he got he got melee, bro. Okay, I, yeah, I, yeah. I swear to God, he grabbed that leg. I don't know what was going on right there, bro. Seemed like Roy might have had one last gas <laughs> at survival, but no. Coming up a little bit short, and Sonics will go up 2-1 in this first set of Grand Finals. One away from getting that reset. Bro, don't got those magnets, bro. You know who would have made that? Yeah. My boy, Doc. <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> All right. Not that I wanted to. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, like, this would be the worst time to bust out of Doc. Yeah, that man. might not be it right now. I'm just saying, if you want to talk about magnet hands, he got them. Look at that to my boy, Jazar on Wi-Fi. <laughs> and that optimum online internet. Respect, my boy, respect. All right, crazy stuff right there. I, again, I like the effort with the Roy. 
Just a little too much to overcome. All right, he's going he's to keep it with the Roy. I don't think it's, it's not like it's not the worst choice. I mean, like obviously, you know, he does have a, a, a bunch of characters at his uh, disposal, and the Roy is the only one that's got him a W yet. But that also, you know, that was a loss right there. Like I said, man, I, I think I kind of understand. He's just kind of feeling out, you know, exactly what he's going to need maybe for set number two. Mm. And if he does get the W with Roy, I can almost guarantee you we see a character switch in game five just to keep Sonic's guessing. Mm -hmm. I really think that is going to be the strategy he will implore, but. Can't look too far ahead. We got to focus on getting this game number four first. Yeah. Uh -oh. Sonic, though, he's been playing out of his mind. Ooh. Oh, big Leap, attempt right there. right there. Yeah, I mean, obviously, he didn't get punished for it, though. Uh, Sonic's having to go off the stage. So. Right. How'd he hit that, though? Genius. Yeah, low key. Uh -oh. Ooh. All right. Be able to react to that. Sonic's 58%. Pretty modest right there as he's closing in on this first stock of Spargo. But Spargo always willing to swing that blade. Disadvantage, advantage, it does not matter. Spargo will fight you tooth and nail. Slam jamming him down here at that side, though. He's trying to hope to maybe get that pop up into a, a back air. Maybe even just get a, a raw down there to actually hit through the stage and get uh, the stock. But more often than I usually see that pop up into a follow up. 182, right. save this jump. What's up? Doesn't matter, though. Save the jump, put himself in a, in a worse position well, that off the uh, ledge air, air dodge. Yeah, not the most advised decision right there. And unfortunately, it is going to give Sonics a chance to extend this lead out. Air dodging himself to the platform. A little bit of a safe haven right there. Spargo, ooh, on the aggression. Okay, hold on, bro. And bringing out the blazer. I'm ready for that. Truly trying to handle some business. That's real talk. We're gonna do right here. Nice. Mm. Done. The timing immaculate. The delivery incomparable. This is fantastic. If you're a Spargo fan right now, he is right back into this set. Oh, nice grabs. Yeah, he's really piling on. This is the thing right here. He's smothered and overwhelmed. Sometimes it'll take like get put into like you know that 80, 90 range and then have to play from behind. But he has to play so cautiously. Got to keep that percentage relatively even a bit sooner. I want to say TK. Mm -hmm. There it is. It's really just at this point in time, I think Spargo's win condition has been shown that he has got to get these ledge traps uh, clean. Because anytime he's able, he, he basically wants to always put Sonics at the ledge, close the amount of active space that they have between them, yep. and then just kind of punish from there. But anytime Sonics uh, is able to get past him, he just runs to the other side and recess the whole situation. Oh, can't cool. do it this time around, though. Yep. Looking uh -oh. so good. Oh, I like these up airs. He's swinging these big time aerials. Could have been a grab right there on that platform, but no. Wanted a little bit more damage. What are we thinking? Okay, a little chase down action. Yep. Just gets that up air. Ooh. Ooh! Because that was spaced perfectly, Sonic mm -hmm. already had the time to punish. Spargo said that's a little bit of a gotcha. Oh, but not on that one. Love the footstool. I Came thought. Out of dodge. I thought if he was if he was Pyra, he definitely would have dropped that down air. That's a, it, the way he was drifting back. I felt that down air in my soul, bro. Oh, oh he gonna oh. feel that, <laughs> that F smash in his soul though. Getting pushed off the stage, stage on that one. Yeah, that was huge actually from Sonic. Wow, just let that thing rip like a cola with a diamond F smash. No thought, just Absolutely, action. Absolutely, bro. No thought, just action right there, but a lot of action on the part of Smargito right now. He is closing in on getting this game number four. A little bit more additional damage would be tremendous for him right now. Sonics, what we got? He had the idea, just just a little too far ahead. And Sonics expects him to go way low. Not this time around. Spargo going for the high recovery. Gets back to, oh, get off me. There you go. If Roy is your boy, now's the time to let Spargo hear it. Trying to will himself into a game number five. Sonics hunting this reset. So close to getting it, man, but this 153. There you go. I hear the chance right now. I hear the chance right now. They're trying to let Spargo know. It ain't just Roy, bro. You are a boy, too. Yep. But Sonics got them headphones on for a reason, bro. He don't care what nobody says. Absolutely. He's, I'll play my own game regardless. 182 right now. He said me, myself, and I. Yep. And, and Angie. Shouts to Angie. Oh, big shouts. Always oh, big shouts. I got you, big dog. <laughs> <laughs> Good grief. Piling it on right now, 46%. It's looking clean, it's looking clean. Damn. But it's Fargo. certainly not looking over. Fargo said, I don't like any of this. I'm gonna go to the other side. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. oh! I like the delay. Unfortunately, though, didn't. And honestly, it might just be the amount of rage he has, too. But yeah, that's True. usually you can see him trying to go for that delay or that jump into it. So they can try to get a little closer, get the sweet spot of the double-edged dance. And with that rage he had, I mean, you might have just exploded straight up. Very real. You ain't lying. Oh, that's mm. gonna catch him. Yeah, okay, nice, nice, nice. All right. Take a look at the clock, too, TK. I mean, it's just something of note as we are kind of getting to that two-minute marker. 
Something to keep in mind. So this is a very high percent for Sonics, and he knows uh -oh. it. And Spargo, it's enough. Yes, and that is going to do it. Game number four goes to Spargito, and that will put the pressure swinging back yet again to Sonics, who realizes he is on his elimination game coming up. I was a little shook, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was a little shook seeing that forward air hit instead of the back air, but he knew the damage that oh, he, he had. Knew. He said, oh, this is, I calculated as well enough. So good stuff to Spargo. Getting it to a game five on the Roy, by the way. On the Roy. The Pyra Mithra showed his face one time here at the very beginning, and he said, never mind, it's all Roy. I am so eager to know if he is gonna believe in the Roy for the remainder of this set, this game five set put all his hopes into the Roy? Or is it possible to see somebody else? No, sir. It is going to be Roy through and through to try and win Supernova 2024 in one set. The stage, stadium. The characters selected. The options, well, you already know they're going to be good. They're going to be good. Let's get a game five. Oh, oh, that kind of... You know what? Doing a lot, doing a lot. Doing a lot, doing a lot. Do a lot. <laughs> that was the commentator's first spot. The option's going to be good counter. All right, what's going on here, bro? Well, hold on. Right on Jump Street. It's still pretty even right now. Nice. Yeah. All right. Hasn't hit any of those dares up to this point, but something tells me, man, if one does find this mark, it's going to be super impactful and may help decide who's going to win this set. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's a very swingy set all the time, but oh, I feel yeah. like more often than not, I mean, Spargo has to, he has to kind of do like the steady climb where Sonic's, he could potentially go down, you know, two stocks oh, yeah. and just kind of like change the, the, the flow of the game. All right, so I like that run up and grab. It actually might show that a little bit more in this match, TK, because I've noticed the previous games with the Roy, not as much grabbing in some of those instances where you might think it applies, but... Might decide to mix it up a little bit in this game. Number five coming in strong with that up smash. Going to lead to a sour spot. Oh, no! Sonics! Sonics! This is not the time, brother! Brother! Of all time, brother! I, this I, is not it! I thought we got that out the way with Ashimo. <laughs> we left that in loser semis. <laughs> He's uh. a what, one percent, but not on the game five. Oh, no, bro. Uh-oh. Oh, it is. And it's getting loud in here, bro. I don't, I don't think the noise canceling headphones going to be canceling hard enough. Hey, everybody can hear this right now. And I'm going to tell you right now, this crowd has come to life already invested. But now the spark of belief fully there. Up and over. Nice. I like that, actually. And not shying away, too, man. Look at the aggressiveness we're seeing from Sonics. Might expect Spargo to pick some more defensive options at a point. But no, sir. Continuing to just swing. Bring the fight to him, and this is fleeting further and further away. Every single hit that Sonics takes, all those grabs, all this damage, it is really accumulating to something serious. Written on Sonic's face a little bit, beginning to be flustered. Spargo, as stoic as ever, with this stock lead and 134%. And another one? Oh, not quite yet. It's the stock lead and the gameplay right now, man. The, way, the way he has been putting Sonic's onto his ledge and big like just I'm waiting for you to pick an option because I'm going I'm to put you right back on that ledge. This is where a lot of his damage is going to come from, as I was saying in the game before this. Oh, the ebb tilt. You can't get away from him. Come, you can't get away from him. Coming through, boosted, man. Riding on them skates. Sliding through and getting that stock off with Sonic's. Now, I'm not ready to call this at all. Not I've seen at these all. two battle so many times in a stock lead. It's just that. In name only, the game is not finished until it's done. But here comes Nair Jordan. I think that, I think that the Astro Sonics actually got him well out of that because he could have got an extra hit from Spargo. But no, he ends up uh, behind him. Yep. And ends up finding himself two uh, up airs for his troubles as well. Hold, hold up. On, hold on now. Sonics. Hey, uh, the, he man, the man is, he is momentum, he is momentum based. Yeah, and, and talk about a lot of momentum he'd have going into another set if he brings this one back. The counter it's finally over. finds it. It's over. I don't TK's <laughs> calling it. I'm throwing the towel, it's over, bro. TK's calling it, throwing the towel. But you know that's not in Sonic's makeup. He's still got a stock, still an opportunity, but Spargo, just looking so poised right now, keeping the distance, slowing things down to a crawl. Sonics, unfamiliar territory, being forced to approach. Uh -oh. Can he get in there? Uh-oh. Can he get in there? The Supernova Smash Ultimate Championship on the line right now. And right all up, these grab. hits, they are accumulating. They are adding up. He's chilling. Look, again, look how he has been struggling to get off this ledge, at least in one interaction. 
Oh, oh no! Could it be? It is Spargo with the pop off and letting you all know pressure does not just make diamonds, it makes history as Fargo claims his first Supernova title. Roy's our boy, Spargo's our boy, and now Spargo, our Supernova champion. Gotta give it up to the GOAT, bro. Spargo, Spargito as we call him, but today, Spargo. Spargo, man, Spargo, a nickname well-earned and a nickname reinforced on the stage of Supernova. You see our head TO, the man who put this event together, Justin, our photographers, a very controversial furry, and a champion in Spargo. What? <laughs> they was getting that raffle online, I'm sorry. They was, bro. Yeah, on. They was going for his head. He thought he was like, I was on something, they gonna feel my rap, chill out. Come on now. Well, I'll tell you what, Sonics felt the rap of Spargo, loved it back, hugging it out right there. Spargo, your champion of Supernova for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And unfortunately for Sonics, the second place curse lives on. It must, it must, it must live on, bro. I, I know you'll break it eventually. Unfortunately, though, it will not be here at Supernova. But we hey. got many a tournaments coming from, up. The GOAT! From one GOAT to another. You from know? one GOAT to another. That's right. Hoist that trophy, boy. Host it! Well earned right there. Well earned. Crazy, bro. Off the off the Roy too, man. I don't even know if he how much how often he's even had to bust I, that out in I, this tournament alone. I'm so curious. Like I am just beyond curious to know his thoughts on the Roy selection, man. It was such a curveball. But boy, I tell you, if it did not hit a strike. Take it in the adulation from the crowd, as he should, man. One of the hardest fought victories and one of the most unique character selections I've ever seen in a grand final with this much stakes. Yeah. To, to pull that, I mean, I, I was like, you know, Cloud, okay, right? The the corn, because, you know, I've seen you play that against Sonic, too. Yep. Okay, word. Aegis made sense. But yep. Roy, out of left field. Just different, bro. For me. But now, if I see it again, I got full faith. I don't care, bro. That Roy cooks. That's just different, bro. Spargo, insane. Can we uh, can we get Spark over here for an interview? All right, excellent. Well, I mean, I wasn't letting you end the stream without doing that. Facts. Let's we'll sit here facts, all night. Facts, facts, But yeah, no, I mean, I, I see him actually making his way over here, which definitely means we we'll had an interview man himself, my my goat on the interview squad, Happy my to do goat it. in the commentary booth as well. He is gonna go ahead and hold it down. But damn, what a what, what a tournament, bro! What I, a tournament! I mean, it, it could you couldn't script it any better, bro. You couldn't script it any better. It had all the drama, all the mayhem all the unpredictability and of course an ending that i'm sure everybody is satisfied with as we are going to usher someone gave Spargo. you a flower bro what the? that's crazy <laughs> all right bro all right i'm gonna i'm gonna get the seat up to spargo so we can go ahead and chat it up with him let's do it as always man black Lake holding it down love you, know you brother. We do. but gotta get the champion here give it up one more time for spargo, spargo! They really ranked your ass number nine. Mm, I mean, <laughs> it's whatever. I won. Congratulations, man. Congratulations, Spargo. That was crazy, bro. I mean, we Oh, oh. I got you a little bit, bro. Dude, we were going crazy over here in the booth. The crowd was going crazy. You know, when you won against Shattuck, right, it was such a – because seeing a winner's finals like that was insane. Now, I know you lost to him at S-Factor, so to me, I was saying a lot of – this is a revenge tour for you. A lot of revenge on your mind. What was your mindset going into that Shattuck matchup? Oh, absolutely. Um, so I was very confident because I know what I did wrong at Smash Factor. Okay. And I feel like that my main mistake was that, you know how at game four uh, I had a huge lead? Yeah. And I remember that. Yeah. I had a huge <laughs> lead and I, I choked. So at that moment, I was like, okay, I already won. I'm going to think about my next set. Got you. Okay. And I just started thinking... Uh, what to do against Sonic yep. because I, I had to play Sonic next and I just started playing an autopilot and yeah I lost listen I, well obviously you corrected that here right congratulations that was huge but let's fast forward to grand finals 
You know, we saw you use the Aegis against Ken, right? Saw you have some effectiveness there. Started off the first game with Sonics, didn't go so well. You bring out the Roy. Of all the characters we were expecting, Roy probably a little further down on the docket. What about Roy made you think it was good enough to take out Sonics in this very pivotal Grand Finals? Um, so I've been using Roy for quite a bit like in Sonics. Okay. We, everyone knows we play friendlies like, um, we used to play friendlies on a daily basis. Yeah. And there was a moment where my core and my EGs were not working anymore. And I was so stressed and I was like, okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna pick Roy. Yeah. Uh, let's see what happens. Sure. And I started winning. Uh, <laughs> And that's actually a matchup that I know very well because Crazy. I, I used to play Sonics like years ago. My Roy versus his Sonic, and my Sonic is Roy. We used to play a lot. Really, reverse yeah. mains. Okay, yeah, like okay. reverse mains because reverse characters. Right? Yeah. yeah, and yeah, that's like that's a matchup I know very well. And for for this for this moment, I was like, okay, I mean, my Aegis is more warmed up. Yeah, uh, I, I mean, it's playing better. But then I was like, okay, it's, uh, it's grand finals. I'm winner side. I have another chance. Of so course. I'll try it. Why not? That's what I was thinking too. I was like, because if the Roy hadn't gone, you know, the way he went, would you have maybe thought about Aegis again, maybe Cloud? Was there any kind of option? Are we just taking it one game at a time? Um, honestly, if the Roy didn't work, I had no idea what to do. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very happy I won. An honest champion. We yeah. definitely appreciate yeah, that. If we went to a second set, yeah. honestly, I don't know what what I would have done. Oh, man. That, well, I get, you know what? They'll never know. And then neither will you because he didn't need it. Now, this event I know was very important to you because I remember last year fell a little short of expectations. I'm like 49th or whatever. How important was it to you to come in here and not only avenge that low placing that you're not known for at all, but also be the top standing man for North America here defending the region. Of course, represent Mexico the best. Um, I mean, everyone knows I haven't been doing well recently. Like, um, I mean, I got third at Japan, which yeah, is yeah, good, yeah. but before that, my, my performances were not that great. So coming into this tournament, I was like, okay, I just want to outplace my, my, my yeah, last year. Yeah, yeah, I want to outplace and, I don't know, maybe top eight. That's my goal. Okay. And it just happened. I, I won. It happened in a major way. I mean, this was one of the most impressive performances. Congratulations. I remember at Fall Fest, you got second place. And you told me, man, I can't wait till I can't wait till next year. I'm gonna come back and win. Took a couple more years, but you eventually came back Two and years. got that yeah. win, dude. You are sensational. Anything you'd like to say to all your fans out there? The chat was going crazy. You got a lot of people who support you, my brother. Mm, I mean, I just want to say thank you to everyone who kept supporting me uh, despite my my performances. Like I haven't been doing well, but even then, there were still people that believed in me, and I'm very grateful for that. Thank you. <laughs> And shout outs to M2K. He helped me a lot throughout this tournament. He gave me a lot of, a lot of advice and it worked. And so, yeah, thank you, everybody. And, uh, <clears throat> sponsor. Thank the sponsor. Oh, uh, what's the sponsor? Thank your sponsor, you, Jim. Oh, you got uh, shout outs to Face. There you go. There you go. Oh, I thought it was like a uh, tournament sponsor. Uh, we'll get you some media training yet. Guys, Spargo, one more time. Congratulations for winning Smash Ultimate. Love this guy. An absolute. Where's that trophy? Yeah, show that trophy one more time uh, before we get out of here. This is your champion. Went through a gauntlet to win this event, but did it in style. We'll catch you next year at Super Smash Con for myself, production, and everybody else. Take it easy. Peace.